my original. I like it. Hey friends, I hope you're having a good day. Um, today I am working on decorating for Christmas. Uh, if you've been on my Instagram, you've already seen that we've unboxed our new King of Christmas tree and I've got it ready to decorate. So we are going to decorate the Christmas tree and the mantle and we are going to do it in a Victorian theme. Um, more, probably more like we're going to try to stay true to Victorian, but but put some modern elements on it. So, um, so we're going to work on that. We got a lot to do. So you may notice throughout this that like my clothes will change because we're going to probably be doing several days. So let's get started. We're okay, to start, I've already put the garland on the mantle. And this is an old mistletoe garland. Well, it's only a couple of years old. I found it at Kirkland's years ago, so I'll see if it's still available. And if it is, I'll put a link in the description. Now, many, many, many years ago, probably 20, my sister gave me um, this Courier and Ives, Courier and Ives. My dishes are the same pat pattern that my grandmother had. So she gave me this. And I thought, this really has that aesthetic that we're going for. So we're going to put this on the mantle first. And we're going to design around this piece of art. Okay, so next, um, during the Victorian era, mirrors were um, anything ornate. Ornate was very popular. So they also like to hang mirrors because mirrors were um, so kind of a luxury. If you were a wealthy, more wealthy Victorian person, you definitely had some beautiful mirror, mirrors. mirrors. <laughs> so I'm going to grab a mirror and we're going to put a wreath on it. So I like that. Let's keep going. Um, we're going to add some bells to the garland. Let me show you those. <laughs> My cat doesn't like these bells. He's a little nervous. Okay, so I found these bells also at Kirkland's a couple of years ago. Um, I think they have a real nice kind of gold uh, patina, kind of a bronzy finish to them. So we're going to add them to the garland. Okay, so basically on this garland, I started here in the middle and I have a little nail up here. You can't see it now, but there's a little nail in here. Um, and I have these hanging from that. So something's gonna go in the middle to hide that. And then I took and tried to match up the vine from the mistletoe and the rope from the bell. And I put them close together. They don't have to be like, on each other but close together and then I weaved some of the mistletoe around the bells. Okay so I feel like we're in a good place. Um, if you're wondering why I haven't taken the tag off of the wreath, I just want to make sure that it is the wreath I want to use before I keep going. So next I'm going to put some things on top of the mantle and I think I just want to do some beautiful candles with some brass candlesticks. So I also want to show you this candle. This is a battery powered candle. I absolutely love it. You can see the thing here. Let me go get the remote and I'll show you how it works. Um, so my plan is, is to replace and just use battery up here, especially close to that wreath because I don't want it to catch on fire. Um, but here, this, this is how it works. It actually does move. It looks like a flame. I'm gonna turn that off, it comes with a remote. So 
so far so good. I think we'll work on what's gonna go in the middle and we'll work on what's gonna go down here on the hearth next. So on the hearth, um, I was thinking of using the rocking horse because he definitely has a Victorian vibe to him. So let's pull him over here. Let's use him. I'm going to get rid of the berries because um, I think what I want to do is do like keep the greenery but do a ribbon. Okay, so I put the skates up here and... I haven't put the stockings up yet, so I just realized I probably should put the stockings first, but I do kind of like the skates. Um, I'm not sure. So I'm going to put the stockings up. I'm going to take the skates down, try the stockings, and then we will start addressing what's going to go in the middle. Okay, back in the Victorian period, people used socks, basically, and put them on the mantle. And um, so I'm pulling these they look very like, how can I, the word, like a sock. <laughs> Instead of being perfect, they look more organic. So I'm going to put these up on the mantle and try them with the skate in the middle. Then we'll switch to the piece of art. The way I hang stuff on my mantle, I've been doing this for years, way before Command Hex is I use a little nail like this and a hammer. Um, then this leaves such a tiny hole up there that you can't even see it. Uh, but it's easy to patch, too, if you decided you wanted to patch it. Alright, let's look at that. I like it. I actually like the skates in the middle. The skates need a ribbon. If we're gonna do a ribbon, we need to do a ribbon with the skates, I feel like. Something like that. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna need more of this ribbon. I got this at Target before, before Thanksgiving. So I may not be able to get any more of this ribbon, um, but we're gonna look and see if they have some more at Target and buy some more. Because I was planning on putting it on the tree and I'm using a lot of it over here. So I want like, you know, not a perfect bow. I want a very much organic, flowy, droopy bow. And that's it. Okay, so I have run out of ribbon. I've gone to Target's website and it looks like the ribbon that I bought from there, which is really, really way too expensive. Um, it is officially out of stock. Like it's out of stock in the store, out of stock online. I can't get any more. So let's go to Hobby Lobby and see if we can find some matching ribbon. Okay, so I just found this. It looks very similar to this, but I like it because it's even bigger and it's a little more blue. So I'm definitely thinking this is my original. I like it. What do you think? I think we should go with this. Definitely has a Victorian look to it. Okay, so I am back, and this is the ribbon, as you may remember, that um, was from Hobby Lobby, and I love this ribbon. So, I got the bigger size and the smaller size. Okay, I think you can see from there. So, I'm thinking about adding it onto here, and I really like how that looks. Um, I'm even thinking of keeping this here because I used it on the wreath up above. So I think it'd be a nice combination to have the two. So let's add this here. Much better. And I'm glad I went with the big one. So look here. 
Can you see this? Isn't that pretty? I like that. I give it a thumbs up. What do you think? You like? I think it looks really cute with this um, Santa right here. I originally was going to put him in the middle of the mantle, but instead I felt like he looked better on top. Okay, the mantle's all finished. Are you ready to see how it looks all pulled together? Here it is. Hey friends, it's day two of decorating for Christmas at my house. And today I'm going to be focusing on decorating the Christmas trees. So in case you might be wondering why did I choose this tree for that Victorian look? Well, the Victorian era was pretty much all fresh trees, sometimes probably even just cut out of the woods or out of their garden if it was a family that was wealthy enough to have a garden. Um, you, they didn't have artificial trees back then. So I tried to go with a tree that was more organic and more um, natural looking. And so that's why this tree was chosen instead of a flocked tree or a really, really full tree. So, so let's get started. For the ornaments, I'm repeating the ribbons using some glass balls um, I am also included these cute mice made out of wool, some homemade salt dough ornaments, and then these little jingle bells from the Dollar Tree that I bronzed with some rub and buff. Oh, and I also have some candles to go on the tree that I'll show you later. Okay, before I um, put this on the tree, I wanted to show you, uh, I haven't bought a star for the tree in a long time. This one's at Target, um, but look at this. That, why, why haven't we thought of this before now? Look at that. That's really smart. So let's get a chair and we'll hang it. So the tree is all finished. Let's take a look at it all put together. So I hope you have found this DIY helpful and I hope you've gotten some ideas on decorating your Christmas tree in a Victorian style or with the color blue. Blue is one of my favorite colors and I can't believe I've never decorated 
in blue before, but this is my first year. I really love how it turned out, and I hope you love it too. Thank you so much for joining me here at Life on Summer Hill. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.